What is going on guys? I'm back with more cards to open and today we have NFL Pro Set Series 1 1991 introducing the premier edition of the World League. Pretty cool. Now, uh, I did some research. I did a little bit of research on the cards to make sure uh, that I know what's going on a little bit. Because, you know, I'm professional. I'm professional. I'm a professional guy here. Uh, so all I know is, you know, Brett Favre was drafted in 1991. Brett Favre is not in Series 1. He's in Series 2, I think, but the high series? Yeah, which is Series 2. So he's not in here. I don't think there are any really significant rookies in here. Players, but... What we are looking for here in Series 1, the I think the most sought after card, is the Bill Belichick Coaches Rookie card. First year with the Cleveland Browns. The real Cleveland Browns. So that is the card we're looking for. Uh, there are uh, inserts in these sets. There are uh, your typical retro drawing cards and uh, whatever not. These, this box, the other thing is there are a lot of cards that could be worth something because there are a shit ton of errors, as ProSet likes to do. There are errors and errors and errors. So many print errors that actually I have to go through every card and look up the errors, which I really don't want to. But we're going to jump right in and rip this thing open somewhere. There we go. So I thought I'd bounce back to football really quick since we're slowly moving to the end of the season. The Raiders got embarrassed by the Falcons, which is not fun, but I don't know. If you're a Raiders fan like I am, I think you should, you're used to it. Just expect that nothing's good's gonna happen, and then just be happy when it does. There we go. So, as always, we start with the lower right-hand corner for the first video. You know, it's gonna be going four videos again, like always. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly. 36 packs. Toss that over to the side there. Cheapy cellophane packaging. So the cards are extra fucked up when they come out. So let's start off right away. Like I said, we're looking for the main card. We're looking for Bill Belichick. That's the card we want. And uh, let's start with uh, Gary Reasons. Linebacker for the Giants. Many, many reasons why we're doing this. Mostly because it's fun, I hope. Kevin Butler. Stephone Page. Albert Lewis. Gary Zimmerman. We got uh, Urban Randall for the Bucks. Dan Owens. Dan Marino, very cool. Very nice card. Getting stalked by the Jets there. That one's really nice. I say uh, someone mentioned in another video that the the photography of these cards are very nice, and um, I don't know. So far, so good. Isaac Holt. I hope that's his real name for the Cowboys. And we got here. We got 1990 replay. Bills come from behind again against who? The Raiders. Oh yeah, this is the other thing I read. This is this is actually pretty hilarious. They have referee cards. That's definitely something I, I don't. I, when I saw that on the on the list, I thought, really, referee cards? I'm gonna put that there just because that's some corny crap. And we got in the same pack another Bills alone atop AFC East, destined to lose. And we got another one here: Giants and Bills Super Bowl Twenty Five replay. Baker scores, first touchdown. Very cool. We got a bunch, of, a whole bunch of different kind of cards in these packs. And we got my favorite kind of cards with the drawing. We got Mark Bortz from the Bears. Very cool. I always like these cards. I just love the artwork. And we have our first um, Euro League, or sorry, World League at the time. Mike Teeter from the Frankfurt Galaxy. I actually live... Uh, about 30 minutes away from Frankfurt, so that's pretty cool. I actually, uh, I never saw an actual game, but I did, uh, I did get to, because I played football for a short bit, I was allowed to go to training, to their training and watch them train and practice, and uh, I was the only one who spoke uh, 
good English or English at all that I was able to talk to the guys, which was pretty cool. So uh, that was a pretty cool moment. Tom Rathman. We got Eric Dorsey for the Giants. Mark Jackson. That's almost confusing. The color is the name. <laughs> Michael Brooks for the Broncos. Tim Green. Falcons. We got Jimmy Johnson head coach card. Pretty cool. Morton the ring already. Craig Hayward. We got Keith Millard. Randy Grimes. And we got another Heisman hero, Barry Sanders. Very cool. I don't think I've ever had a card of his uh, in his college uniform. That's really awesome, to be honest. The card does have a, a cutting crease here. It's in certain light. It's pretty crooked. It goes from this down back up here. But I have to say, for pro set, uh, the cards are actually in... They're in pretty decent condition so far. Very surprised. Put that up there. That's a pretty cool card. So I can't lie, the cards are pretty cool so far. Except for coaches' cards. He probably doesn't know it's second down. He probably thinks it's eighth down or something like that. Heisman Hero, Mike Rogier from Nebraska, 1983. Uh, 1990, Chris Zorish, Notre Dame, Lombardi Award winner. And we got another one of these ones. Jackie Slater of the Rams. Very cool. Just really awesome looking cards. I love them. And we got our first coach, uh, Jack Bicknell for the Barcelona Dragons. Head coach. So I got to throw that thing away. One of these, uh, we have these, uh, if you play, oh, I already threw this one here. This. I didn't scratch any ones from the first and I won't be scratching them either because it's just a waste of time, I think. Kevin Porter, Henry Ellard, John L. Williams, Jeff Bryant for the Seahawks, Eric Green for the Steelers. I really like that there's a lot of uh, diagonal cards to look at because you get a nice, uh, nice retrospect of the area around the players, just the feel that just. If you ever watch or read any of my comments, I hate prism cards because it's just the players cut out and then it's silver. I like, I want to see everything. I want to see the coach standing here with the players behind him, these beasts there, ready to get on the field and rip someone's head off. And there we go, Neon Dion for the Falcons. Very cool. I don't even know where to put it. Let's just cover up the coaches because coaches are whack. There are the coaches, the referees. Al Smith. Tommy Aggie. Oh, now we get think about, think about it. Read, yes, that's, that's, in, is that on purpose? Are y'all fucking with me? Yeah, no, I can't always pronounce names too well. There's some weird standing on the card. Think about it. He's like, look at you. Learn to read, fool. Uh, NFL Newsreel, NFL Teacher of the Year. He's the ones who give the, the players good grades so they can play football even though they're failing. Best teacher. We got another one. Think about it. Steroids destroy. Wasn't this dude on steroids? Charles Mann? Wasn't there some dude who was on the roids? Whatever. Then we got here. NFL Newsreel. Super Bowl 25. Super boring stuff here. Sitting on the couch. Card's got a crease. And another one. Backup quarterback rallies Redskins. And who would that be? I don't know. Either way, there's a whole bunch of different types of insert cards here. Then we got Paul McGowan for the Birmingham Fire. I don't know, I keep the Frankfurt one because I guess you can say that that would be a pick of mine because it's the closest professional team that we had in football. Now, uh, we do have a local team here in Darmstadt. They, uh... And they played the second second league, but their men's team is no it was never as good as their junior team. And we go right away here with the Hall of Famer, John Elway. 
Uh, Mark Klesso. He has a weird looking helmet on. Look at that. Focus. What the hell is he wearing? Probably his brain damage or something. Jeff Harrod. Albert Bentley. DeMonte Dawson. Gary Anderson. Jeff Cross. Uh, Michael Coffer. Then we got uh, New Orleans Saints, Stan Brock. We got a cool official card, Pat Haggerty. Whatever. Ronaldo Tur. <clears throat> and we got Thurman Thomas, Super Bowl replay. It's amazing that the Bills had such a great team and they just could not win the big game. Very cool. I'm just putting these cards everywhere. I'm just putting them everywhere. Heisman, Ty Detmer. Man, that's a name that I have not heard in a long time. Did he play that long ago, man? I feel old. 30 years ago. That's pretty cool. And we got one of these. NFL, oh, NFC team. Jim Latchy. Very cool. Oh, that's right. This is the World League when it started when they had... American teams when they actually wanted to play around the world, which was insane. Don Matthews for the Orlando Thunder. Pretty crazy. And we got Frankfurt Galaxy helmet. Very cool. Now they do have the German Professional Football League and they have, they call themselves the Frankfurt Universe and they have the same colors. I think they play first league. I'm not 100% sure, but I think, but they, there's such a huge following here in Germany. You wouldn't have believed it uh, for, for the German Football League, for American football. And um, yeah, and it's really transferred over in the last, I don't know, I would say five years or so. Like NFL, like people love football. Like some of my best friends are really into football. It's really cool. So let's go back. Daryl uh, Tolley for the Bills and Jeff Wright for the Bills. And Andre Reed for the Bills. So Super Bills heavy pack here. I mean, what are you going to do when you end up going to four Super Bowls? They had a great team. It's just that they couldn't get it done. They had bad luck. Everything. So Andre Reed. Then we got Brad Muster. Running back for the Bears. When there were still white running backs. <laughs> Louis Lips. Vaughn Johnson. Billy Joe Tolliver, this card is in horrendous shape. Holy cow, this car, card is wasted. Man, oh man, that card looks like his career. Terrible looking card. These cards are pretty beat up. These ones are not too good. Too good. Henry Thomas. Mike Munchik. We got, what's his name? Dick Jorgensen. And we got two officials back to back. Are oh, you guys are killing me here? What's his name? Norm Schachter. He doesn't even look like an official. He looks like he snuck onto the field. He's like, I'm gonna be a, a referee for Halloween. Holy crap. And another one! Are you kidding me? Gerald also, you know, I thought I was gonna hate these cards the most, and I really do. You get three of them, three, four Bills cards, and three referee cards. Oh, cool. This is actually, uh, I just actually read about this like right now. Uh, Rajiv Ishmael, he, uh, he was expected to go number one in the draft over, I think the, the, the Cowboys drafted, I think, a lineman. He was supposed to go as first overall, and then he started, he signed with the, with the Argonauts in the Canadian Football League instead. He eventually did play, uh, the Raiders drafted him in the fourth round, and then he went and played in Canada, and then he played for the Raiders. And of course the Raiders drafted him, so that's actually pretty cool. Since uh, it's a little bit historic, I guess you could say. Then we got another all NFC team, Andre Ryson. Very cool. And we got the Sacramento Surge. It's just so weird. I really, at the time, I really, you know, the World League was not until they turned into Euro, Euro League, I, U, NFL Europe. And then by the end of the NFL Europe, there were six teams and five of them were in Germany. Bart Oates, uh, Rodney Hampton, Jim Richter, 
And we have more Bills, more Giants. Those are the guys. Bobby Humphrey, uh, Wayman Henderson, two Bronco cards back to that, Kevin Van Horn, or Keith Van Horn, Ken Norton, Sammy Smith, Randy Grimes, think about it, keep the pace, stop gang violence. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Uh, Jerry Markbert, and we got Bills Rally Stuns Broncos and John Elway is getting crushed right there. And I got Ronnie Lott signing headlines. Plan B. Uh, when he joined the Raiders. Yeah. The Raiders are probably always plan B, aren't they? You got Barry Sanders right away. I can see that. That's a really cool card. You know how fucking awesome that would look with an autograph? That is a really cool card. Um, now we got John Witkowski, quarterback for the London Monarchs. There you go. So we have three more packs. This video is going to go a little bit long. This is, I have to say, these cards, uh, I didn't think they were going to be as good as 90 or 1990, but I don't know. They're kind of fun. I mean, the photography is uh, actually, uh, like the one person commented in one video is pretty great. It's really fun looking. They look really good. Uh, Stephen Baker, uh, Eric Moore, uh, Leonard Marshall, and he starts saying uh before every name. That's three giant cards back to back. Brian Millard, Cortez Kennedy. There's something about him. Wasn't that he have some drug problems or something like that? Something, something not good happened. Super Bowl replay, Super Bowl 25. Norwood misses field goal. That's what I love about the card, too. I mean, in 1990, you didn't have the internet to read all this stuff. He's either new or there's some, maybe some almanac or something, but this is where you got your old information from. Burt Grossman, Bruce Hill, Al Naga, me, tell him me to read again. Jim Mora, head, uh, head coach. Troy Aikman, think about it, play it straight. Wasn't there some rumors back in the day that he might be into guys and not to girls? So that's what he was doing, playing it straight. Damn. Uh, Bears field goal decisive for the Bills. And we got another all NFC, Chris Dolman. Very cool looking card. And we got Brent Peace. Or Peace. Pretty cool. I want to read about some of these guys because, you know, they might have had good careers in NFL Europe or World League. But never made it to the big times. Packs are opening pretty good. Let's get rid of this. We got Jim Everett right away. I knew it. Jim Everett. Focusing. Alvin Wright. Mark Ingram. This card looks a little bit off the picture. Maybe they should have done it the other way around. There we go. Jeff George. The year before it was the Rudy card I was looking for, but didn't pull the one. There you go. We got Richard Williamson double. We got James Has Hasty for the Jets. Some print problems. Eugene Marv for the Bucks. Michael Irvin, really, that's a good looking card. Very nice. Michael Irvin. Put that with Elway or over Dan Marino. And we got the officials card. And we got officials card. We got here Dick Jor Jorgensen again. We got Gene Barth. I'm surprised he even knows what a touchdown is. Rams halt 49ers streak. Very cool card. These are freaking awesome. I love it. That's some action cards. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe some of you guys will understand why I, I just not, I'm not feeling the prisms, man. Chiefs Clint's payoff, playoff berth. Although big time card. Uh, we got Hall of Fame, Tex Schramm, contributor to the Cowboys. We got, put that one with that. We got two of those cool drawing cards. And we got Jay Hillenberg for the Bears. Anthony Green, cornerback for the Barcelona Dragons. So we got one more pack left. This is a long video, but I'm having a good time with these. Really fun cards. Surprisingly more fun than I thought it would be. Oh, we have some weird insert, I think, coming. Oh yo 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 yo. Nate Adomes. 
James Brooks. You know what I noticed? We haven't had really any Raider cards. Kevin Green. Steve Tasker. Ray Donaldson. Gary Anderson we had already. Fred Barnett. Ruben Mays. Harry Hamilton. I almost thought I said Happy Hamilton. We got uh, Chuck Knoll, head coach. Won a bunch of games in the NFL. George McCarter. John Elway trying to escape the sack. League modifies in the grasp rule. Ah. Before Brady times. Falcons outshoot Oilers. Oh, we got a really nice Jerry Rice. All NFC team. Very cool looking card. That's a great looking card. That would be an awesome poster. Really awesome. We got a Roman Gabriel head coach for the Raleigh Durham Skyhawks. I never even heard of them. It's really crappy looking logo. And what do we have here? Cassette. Official pro set. Chance to win signing. Two great rookie first world league collectibles. Highs with oh, this is just some crap. Still leaders in the field. Details to, on the flip side. Oh, this is something to win some crap. You can be one of 675 pro set collectors who will win and signed and numbered art prints. Oh, of members of oh, that would be that would have been awesome. That is really a shame because I love the art prints. I wonder if you can find the art prints on the internet. Renowned artist Merv Corning. Yeah, you're a great artist, Merv Corning. That is really cool. You still have. You will find 207 in the series one. New designs, photographs. Very cool. I mean, this card's not really cool, but I love the the drawings. I want to really read about uh, Merv Corning because he his art is awesome. So that's all. We got uh, quite a few Hall of Famers. We got some. I guess personal favorites me, Frankfurt. We got the, probably, I think the my favorite card out of all these is the Barry Sanders 1988 Heisman Trophy with the OSU uniform on. Very cool, I like that one a lot. And probably the uh, Merv Corning art prints, especially like this or the Barry Sanders. So, that's it for video number one. I had a good time, I think. Uh, I'm surprised how good the cards actually were. So, until then, Take it easy.